your first scene? Hmm. First scene? Oh, now we get into some shit. You want to get all in my personal life and shit? <laughs> God damn it, I'm the woman I am because I'm strong. No. <laughs> you thought, oh, you thought I was going to cry. Oh, you thought I was going to cry. <laughs> Is that what you thought? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. Well, you're about to do your first porn scene, but you had already lived, you know, the, the prostitute this thing. This is true. The prostitute life. So I kind of already was so ready for it, it. It wasn't, you know, showing up with a guy you've never met before and having sex was not really a big deal. It was deal. the camera that was the big deal. Okay, there's the camera. The camera was the big because deal. Because you were doing it, but... You could deny you ever did it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't her. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but That's now, someone else. But now it's on film. Yes. Where you would all worried about, okay, once this is on film, mm -hmm. it is there forever. I cannot get rid of it. I cannot get can't it pulled. Can't get rid of it, baby. You know, can't get uh, pulled off the shelves. It is now there. Were you nervous about that? No. No? No. That is, that, my family is different from everybody else's family. And I never felt like I needed to hide anything mm -hmm. from anybody. My mother was always supportive. Um, and not even, not even then, you know, when I was, you know, with the pimp and all that good stuff, she was so supportive when I came into this lifestyle because she said that she knew that I was such a star and she mm -hmm. knew that I was gonna be a star and don't let anybody else tell her differently. And when I would get Hustler magazine covers and then I got Penthouse Pet and she just bragging to everybody. So, no, no, I wasn't ashamed at all. <laughs> I've never been ashamed or felt like, oh my God. I don't even remember the day I sat down with my family and told them I was doing porn. Cause I don't, cause I don't think that day ever happened. It okay. just, this is me and this is what I do and you will accept it. For who I am, they gonna love me regardless, as long mm -hmm. as I'm a good person, you know. You have a lot of brothers. I do. I have a lot of brothers. <laughs> Was that a little weird? Oh my gosh, <laughs> me and my brother were not friends for many years. <laughs> We were not friends because I, I was such a tomboy. You know, I used to play basketball for Crenshaw and we used to look at bitches together. You know what I'm saying? Looking out the window. I'm in my tomboy basketball shorts with my Jordans and my boxers. And I'm, I, I used to always go to school with my basketball. You know, like me and my brother were so close. We used to, and then I did porn. <laughs> and what happened? Um, he, we used to fight all the time at every event, every family get together. You know, he want to fight. We want to fight. So I'm a whore, I'm this, I'm that, you know, I suck dick. So, and I know, so. <laughs> How did but he... after, after a long time, took a couple years, uh -huh. but he got over it. He, got he over realized, it. you know, damn, well, this is what she chooses to do, so I gotta accept it. Do you remember that? And he wanna borrow money, so he better <laughs> accept it. You don't borrow no money from me talking about you don't like what I do. <laughs> I wish he would. Do you remember that first phone call, though? When, when he first found out and he called you? Or was it in person? I think it was in person. I think it was in person. I don't even remember. Oh my God. Gosh, I've been doing this shit 10 years, baby. I don't remember. I know okay. I look young. I'm 29. <laughs> okay. So your brother flipped out. Yeah, he flipped. Any family members wanted to get into it? Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. You see, I mean, you already said your cousin was, was yeah, doing well she, it. Yeah, yeah. I got another cousin. You know, people reaching out to my mother, telling uh, my mom, you know, oh, my, my daughter's out there, you know, could you tell Misty to, uh, well, of course my real name, but could you tell Misty to, you know, reach out to her and just see if she could just show her around and <laughs> like show her around for what? Are you guys kidding me? So you want me to put my cousin in porn? I said, absolutely not, mother. Why? I said, no, because I'm not, I'm not going to be that family member that, you know, they talk about as far as, you know, I'm, I'm the bad influence. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm not going to be that. Corrupting. I'm not going to be corrupting nobody. If this is what they choose to do and they fall into it, then I will help mentor them because they are my loved ones. But I'm not about to bring you into it. Absolutely not. Interesting. Absolutely not. So how many scenes have you done? Over 400. Over 400. Mm -hmm. That's when you're a superstar. Okay. <laughs> Ask Lisa Ann. We made it up. We made it up. Over 400 scenes, you a superstar, bitch. For, you can feature dance and you are a superstar. If you ain't got 400 scenes under your belt, you are just dancing. <laughs> what, I ain't shit. <laughs> what do you think is, 
is the best thing that you do sexually? What is the best thing that I do sexually? Hmm. That is a very, very good question. Because I don't, I don't have a... Every girl is like, oh, I'm the best at this important, I'm the best at that important. Sexually, I don't know. I, that's a great dick, I guess, but I'm a very... I'm the Holly Berry of porn. I'm a very good actress. Holly Berry I'm the Holly Berry, baby. I'm an actress. I know how to capture a character and make you feel like, wow. Like, I, I wasn't even Misty, so that's, that's, that's just what I do. That's what my profession, perfection is. But I can suck some really good dick if that's what you want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to know. Do you feel that, that sex on camera is similar to sex off camera? Oh, no. It's very, very different. Okay. Very, very different. Um, sex on camera, you know, it's not as intimate. Um, there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of lights, camera, people telling you to do this and that. And, you know, you have to open up to the camera. You can't be as intimate. You can't, it's not a lot of, you just got to show everything. So it's not, it's not as mental. It's not as intimate. It's not as, you know, personal as it would be in your personal life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just different. It's just very, very different. It's it's work. Have you ever had a relationship it's with a male work. porn star? With another porn star? <sighs> I guess. I mean, not really. If you want to call, I, I wasn't. We weren't in a relationship, but I fucked other porn stars before. Like you know, they was my side boos. Yeah. When I was in a relationship, they was my side boos. But not your main boo. No, not my main. Okay, boo. so. Not my main. But you've actually had relationships. I have. Mm -hmm. During this time. Mm -hmm. Were these guys that were in the industry no. in other ways or civilians? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> they were in the industry other ways, like cameramen and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, I get to know those guys because they shoot all my porn for free. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been in, in actual relationships with these guys? Uh, yeah, I was in a relationship. He actually worked for Dark Side many, many, many years ago. And, um, now he doesn't shoot or do anything now because Dark Side's gone. But um, back in the day, with, what was that guy's name? God damn it. Can't remember. Nikki Starks or something was Dark Side Entertainment. He worked for him over there. So, yeah, that was a long, 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 messy relationship. <laughs> long, long, messy. Not Nikki. I didn't date Nikki. I dated a guy that was Another working guy. with Nikki. We didn't tell you the guy name. Okay. <laughs> Did you, I mean, have you ever had gotten into a serious relationship with a guy completely outside of the adult industry? Completely outside of it, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, a few of them. Yeah? yeah. How did that work out? But me and relationships don't work out, baby. Why? I've been single for three years now, two years. I don't even remember no more. I can't keep track. Um, I'm very... I need to, what is the word, what is, cause, cause why don't they work out? Cause I do porn, cause I suck dick, because I have sex for money on camera, because it sounds so appealing and you want this fantasy and you want this girl and you just think she's so fucking wonderful, but when you get her, you don't want everybody else to look at her. You don't really want what you thought you wanted. But then if she changes and becomes this girl that you want her to become, then you don't want her either. So it's kind of a catch-22. So you've left porn to be with a guy? Not that, not saying that I left it. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't leave completely. You took a break? I took a break as okay. in only doing girl-girl for eight months. Okay. And I sh tried to show this young gentleman how serious I was about our relationship and what I was doing. Okay. And he didn't even notice that I took it off. Didn't even notice. Eight months, wasn't doing boy-girl. Didn't even notice. Didn't. Nothing. So that hurt my feelings. That hurt my feelings. So I'm just, I just, I'm not very, very well with relationships. I'm very bossy. You know, I like things my way or the highway. And usually in a relationship, I need a, um, a roadie, a yes man, kind of a guy that's gonna, you know, roll with me and, and get my bags and make sure that don't, don't nobody come up to my booth and steal my movies. And <laughs> I need, I need I need an all all around guy. I guess I'm I'm so used to that mentality back in the day with a pimp 
that I want that man to be a part of that type of my life like that in particular. You know, I mm. want him to, you know, get on the internet and check my emails and find me work and make sure that, you know, if I need to be on webcam at this time, that I'm on webcam at this time. It's really weird. I'm really fucked up in the head with that. But <laughs> well, I'm what, like, no, you got to make sure that this is done this way. Okay. But, but what I'm noticing from, from this whole conversation is yes. that you're not looking for a man to financially take care of you. No, I don't need that. I mean, now I can, not saying that I don't, not saying that I don't absolutely need it, but he can have his shit together as well as me. You know, he can help, if he's, if he's smart enough and he's got his shit together and he knows more than I do, then he needs to introduce that world to me and help me with my world. I don't okay. think there's nothing wrong with that. But you're not looking for I'm not looking for nobody to take care of me now. No. No. Not I'm a thing. boss. You're Absolutely a boss. not. Never. Well, I mean, if you want to give me $50,000 a week for my allowance, I might consider it. <laughs>